What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron Gasso coming to you guys with another episode of Custom Closet. I'm coming to you guys with a, a custom video for these Air Jordan 4s. They are the alternate 89s. I got these on Foot Locker in a recent restock. Now we're going to customize these to resemble the Trophy 8s uh, out of the, the championship pack um, that Jordan Brad comes out every year. Um, I'm going to do an all gray upper, uh, gold on the uh, midsole, gold on the eyelets, and on the uh, the wings here, as well as the hood tab, we're going to do like an iridescent look. I'm going to show everything, how, how you guys can do it yourself. If you guys are interested in doing this custom or something similar to it, I'm going to give you guys all the products in the description box so you guys can uh, figure out how to do it yourself. As we're going to replace this original Jumpman tag on the tongue with one of these here. This is a custom patch I got from my boy Easy Stitcher. Um, I got this image of the Larry O'Brien Trophy online and I used one of my picture apps to uh, put the text on the bottom down there. And I, I sent it to him and a couple days later he had my patches ready. So, and it actually fits perfect. I did the measurements and I sent it to him and he was able to give me a patch that fits on there quite plush. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so right here we're going ahead and just doing uh, the sock liner with some GAC in flat black. Um, that's just so that the paint won't get crusty and kind of be scratchy when you wear it. Um, and then we're going to heat set it with a heat gun for about four to five minutes just to get it nice and soft. Um, I did about four coats. I only recorded two. Uh, just the color was going to take a little too long to record it. But we pretty much got good saturation after two coats. But I just wanted to uh, go ahead and just uh, finish it off off camera. Okay, so now we have the sock liner fully painted. I did uh, four coats. I didn't fully record all of them because um, I just didn't feel it was necessary. I only did two coats on camera and then did another two coats off camera. So we're gonna go ahead and um, strip this midsole now. Um, I'm not gonna shoot a full video or give it guys a tutorial on how to do that. I did shoot a video before it before about a month ago. So if you guys are interested, just go ahead and look at my channel. I'm using a combination of Dad's Easy Spray and Acetone to get the uh, midsole fully stripped and clean. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So now um, I have finished stripping off the majority of the paint. Um, for some reason, this paint doesn't really come off that good. I'm thinking maybe it's a red um, actual foam behind the uh, paint. So it's kind of like a varnish that's on there and just a light layer of uh, paint because not too much paint came off. But I went ahead and did uh, two layers, two coats of the adhesion promoter. This is a spray on adhesion promoter so that the uh, paint will be uh, better adhere to the uh, midsole um, and then I, I'm going to do uh, three coats of this beige taupe and that's just to help the gold um, stand out a little bit more better and be less coats. Um, gold is a very transparent color, it's uh, very uh, vague and it takes maybe seven to eight coats of uh, gold by itself to get a full color saturation. So what you want to do is do a couple layers of beige or something that's kind of similar to gold. Uh, that way you can get less coats. And I'm going to be mixing that with uh, Createx adhesion promoter, a 50-50 mix, and just put it in the mixing jar. And we have that there. I'm just going to go ahead and paint, like I said, three coats on the midsole. And then go ahead and uh, mix up some gold with the Createx and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, YouTube. So now we went ahead and added the three coats of the beige taupe to the midsole. And we have a full solid color, nice and saturated. Now what we'll be doing is adding the gold. This is a different gold. This is a RC Customs Custom Gold. This is 24 karat paint. 
This is his information. If you guys are interested, hit up his uh, Instagram information. But I will leave a link to this paint on uh, his website in the description box so you guys can check it out if you are interested in getting some. Uh, he sells different varieties of paint. Um, it's very similar to Angelus. It's very flexible. Uh, this is my first time using it, but I've heard good results about it. And um, he sells glow-in-the-dark paint, 3M paint, so reflective paint, um, as well as color shift paint. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out his website. Like I said, I will leave a link to this paint, the 24 karat gold, in the description box so you guys can check it out. So let's go ahead and get into the paint now, process. We went ahead and did all the gold coats. This took way longer than I expected. I was only expecting three to four. I actually took six coats. And I'm still debating if I want to do one more. But you can see how bright that gold is shining. Nice. No finisher added to it yet. Um, I probably will be doing a gloss finish uh, just to make sure it still has a metallic look. But that is all gold coats were added. Like I said, I did six coats. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and start painting the heel tab and the wings here. I gotta take the tape off, but the wings here and then we're gonna do the eyelids gold. Um, but I'm gonna be doing the light gray bone mix. I call it light bone, cause that's what I'm basically going off of. The uh, Air Jordan 8 has a bone, light bone color. So I'm going off of that. I'm gonna add that with some GST 200, which is a fabric painting uh, medium that helps paint adhere to uh, plastic materials and makes it more flexible and uh, not, um, it makes it more of a scratch resistant feel to it so it doesn't really just chip off. But I'll show you guys how to do that in the next clip. Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, so now the shoe is ready to be painted. I went ahead and taped up the whole midsole and outsole as well as the stock liner and behind the tongue so that no overspray gets back there. I did add a coat of adhesive promoter, the spray adhesive promoter to the wings and the eyelets because I'm going to paint those the light bone color or the gray as well as the heel tab. We painted that or hit that with the coat of adhesive promoter as well. So now we're going ahead and just uh, airbrush the uh, wings and the eyelets as well as the heel tab. Um, just so you guys know, I did use a combination of GAC 200 and the light bone color because the 200 helps the uh, paint adhere to the plastic materials such as wings and heel taps. So the paint will actually be a little bit more uh, stronger on these areas than on the just leather portion because I'm going to be using just straight up uh, paint on the leather portion. But so we can get a little bit extra protection, a little better adhesion and a little bit more scratch resistant. Uh, I did add the GAC to the the bone color that we're making that we mixed up. So let's go ahead and get right into the paint process. here and these wings decided I'm gonna leave the eyelids this uh, bone light gray color and we're just gonna do the wings and the heel tab with the iridescent finish and that's what we got here it's iridescent medium by Liquitex I got this from Michaels for about 12 bucks and it's uh let's see it's 237 mils so it's pretty big and it actually lasts a lot a while um, I shouldn't even have to do too many coats, maybe like one or two to the wings and the um, heel tab. But we'll go ahead and get into that and I'll get back with you guys after I'm finished. So let's go ahead and get right to it. 